Hi. God, I've not filmed in ages. This feels really weird. You see the pretty park behind me? It snowed again. It's actually pretty warm today. It's like plus five. It's really weird <laughs> to not be wearing gloves and stuff. It's still chilly enough for a hat. Now I have to cross the road and I'll tell you what I'm up to. <laughs> I remember this is actually one of the first places I practiced filming. Um, but I don't think I ever posted it. Um, I'm at a mall that's outdoors, clearly. Um, I don't know why I always say that. <laughs> like, of course it's outdoors in some way. Um, anyway, there's a shop here that I have uh, coupons for and I have to use them like within the next few days. I really didn't want to come out today. I've been having a really shitty time. Um, and getting here is like a bit horrible. You have to go on a tram for about 40 minutes. And the problem is they're like super busy. I had to get off one because it was, it was so busy that a fight broke out between <laughs> a little old lady and some person that accidentally brushed past her whilst trying to get on the crowded tram and she started hitting him with her handbag. And I know it sounds funny and I can laugh now but at the time it was not funny because she was like screeching. <laughs> and I don't do very well uh, around people who are shouting or any kind of fighting or crowds. So crowded shouty tram just gonna get off it. Um, I, was try I did stay on it for as long as I could. I stayed on for about five stops and it was just too much and people were just squashing and I was like, do you know what? Even regular people wouldn't like doing this. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? So I just waited for the next. Well, actually I had to wait for another three to go past before I could get one, get on one. And then you have to get on a bus to get here as well. Anyway, um, yeah, so I felt 10 times shitter when I was at home. Uh, now I'm here. Um, I don't know if I'm excited, I'm just glad that I'm outside, you know? I didn't want to just sit at home and just feel all shitty, so it feels good to be doing something and I will let you know how it goes. Ugh, this is the dodgiest fucking area. I just went in Walmart, which is an exposure in itself, it's a horrendous place. Um, and they didn't have any of the stuff I went in there for, which is really annoying because it's a long way to come. That's not actually why I came out here, but I thought I'd figure, you know. I'd pop in and see but they didn't so now I'm waiting for my other half to meet me but I'm supposed to go in to the shop on my own it's only there and I don't want to go in <laughs> I want to wait for him and um I shouldn't uh it's really 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 warm and it's freaking me out because I think like the whole time I filmed it's been cold I don't know why it's freaking me out it just is like looking at myself without a hat I'm like Ooh, it's creepy um, then I film indoors, so why is that so weird? Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go in. I completely forgot to finish filming yesterday. <laughs> Which is nothing new. Uh, but it's probably gonna be the shortest video I've ever made. But that's probably a good thing, because that's what I want to work on, is shorter videos and I don't know why I'm putting so much pressure on myself to do that but I am um I just don't like uploading only like 20 minute 25 minute videos because that can be quite a lot to watch at once you know uh sorry I'm trying to get everything done in a rush I've got to leave the house in 10 minutes don't ask me why I've decided to do this now I just felt the urge so I'm like still drinking my coffee and I'm still <laughs> getting ready and I'm like why are you doing this now? I've got to go to therapy. Ugh. Ugh. Why do I go? Um, right, so yesterday the exposure I think went okay. It's really weird like thinking how long I've been trying to go to that particular area and that store. Um, I don't know when the first time I went was. I've got a total mental blank on like what month it is right now. February? Okay. <laughs> so it's got to be like a year ago that I first went and I was, pet I mean petrified. I had like what I call like a 50% panic attack. So not like a full on panic attack, but like a, a bad time. Um, that was a year ago. So I, I have made progress in that respect. 
but it's still hard uh, the traveling is still hard um, just being somewhere on my own you know in like with a lot of people but I don't know um, I'm not sure how long that will take to get comfortable with because I'm not sure I was ever like totally comfortable with it even before I got sick do you know what I mean I've always been like not a fan of crowds or anything so anyway um I'm really like trying to force myself to get to the point and it's <laughs> going to come off really unnatural but anyway uh I went into the store by myself which was good uh but I was only in there for about five minutes before my other half turned up anyway <laughs> which made me laugh because I was like oh I thought you know I was going to get to kind of do a bit of an exposure for like 10 minutes or something by myself. But then he, got, he turned up so quick. He is like power walker man. It's ridiculous because he works close by. But it's still like a mile away and he just gets there in like five minutes. I'm like, what did you do, run? Uh, the shop was shit. <laughs> I only got to spend one of my coupons because they had nothing. They had such shit stock. It's like they give you these coupons like back like four months ago. They'll give you them. To spend at a certain time in February and it's almost like they're only doing it to get rid of all their old stock so they can bring in the new stuff after which I know it's like a marketing bullshit thing it's just annoying it's just like picking over old stuff and I didn't get a winter coat and I really wanted to get a winter coat on sale for next year because I was freezing this year and there was not I mean there was some but you wouldn't wear them they were like fluorescent turquoise and yellow who would put those colors together I, mean, I don't know maybe you like that but like massively padded puffer type jackets that went down to you they were just like they would not be flattering on anybody unless you're on like a i don't know unless you're skiing or something maybe it was ski wear i don't know it was horrible um not my kind of thing at all so <laughs> I only ended up spending one coupon, which pissed me off because I wanted to use them both because I'd earned them both, you know, by previous purchases. I ended up getting the worst shit as well. And it was like, I almost didn't get anything because I was that pissed off. Like, I get so angry shopping. You don't want to be with me shopping. <laughs> when people say to me, like, oh, do you want to go, like, to this store? Do you want to go shopping? I'm like, you don't want to, seriously. <laughs> you don't want to see me. <laughs> when I'm trying to buy clothes it's horrible um, I get really angry because things don't fit and it's not just that they're too small it will be that they're like disproportionate you know because I'm quite a weird shape like a I, I don't want to stand up and show you obviously because I'm like a bit self-conscious about it but I'm like a what do they call it on that show they did this whole show once about body shapes and how they're all different um, I don't want to say a pear but if I had to be a shape, I think I'm a pear. But they used the term a bell, <laughs> which I quite liked because it sounded like bell, like Beauty and the Beast. Anyway, I'm smaller on top, bigger on the bottom. This is not good for clothes shopping because they tend to make like plus size clothing very boxy. Like as if everybody is like an apple shape and they're the same size on top and the bottom. So everything's boxy, which is really unflattering when you want it to go in a little bit. It's so annoying. So anyway, basically nothing fits me properly. And I end up buying only what vaguely fits, which is never, almost never what I actually want to wear. You know, like I don't want to even be wearing this. <laughs> it's like I don't get to get clothes that I actually want in my size or in my fit I should say in my fit because clothes do exist in bigger sizes they just don't fit properly they'll just be baggy in one place and tight in another and it's just a whole world of wrong and you just feel like really skanky and badly dressed anyway that was a long rant about clothes um I'm not going to bother going into what I did get but I did try on 12 pairs of jeans and brought home this many <laughs> zero <laughs> I had to actually order some online when I got home because I was so angry about the jeans situation. I was so mad because they do sell these specific jeans that I know that fit in a, in a specific shape, but they don't have them in the shop anymore. They've stopped doing them in the shop. They only do it online. Why? 
Why would you do that? You're a shop that's dedicated to the festively plump among us. Don't go and shut out your main, one of your main categories of shoppers. Pisses me off. To be honest, I think that's it. I think that's the end of this vlog and maybe just keep it short and sweet. It might not have been very interesting. In fact, it's probably very boring, but um, I guess it will give me a comparison to look back on, you know, to see how I feel in six months time going to that area, going to that shop, making that journey, you know, to see how I feel in a year and then compare it and go, oh, you know, like I said in the clip before, I remember the first time I'd gone there to film and um, I'm, that might have actually been the first time I ever went on my own. So I should look that up and maybe do a comparison like for myself, I probably won't bother posting it because I think I remember it was pretty horrible. But um, yeah, <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it there and go to therapy. And I'm so excited about that. I just don't feel like I'm getting anything out of it. That's the truth. You know, therapy can be a great thing if it's the right kind of therapy. I just seem to go in and just talk about everything and nothing. And there seems to be no kind of direct direction to it and I'm very much a person that needs directing in therapy so I really don't think it's the right fit but I'm just too much of a chicken to fucking say that and go I don't want to come here anymore because I'm scared I'm scared that if I stop going there I won't have anything you know I need something to keep me afloat anyway gonna leave it there and say thank you for watching I hope to post more regularly I know I always say that I just seem to have a problem with motivation and um that word that means when you stick to what you say <laughs> I don't know what the word is you know what I mean like commitment yeah commitment reliability something along those lines I seem to have lost all these qualities I used to be a very reliable person I used to be a very reliable person I'm not sure if it's the medication that's derping me out, just making me a bit useless, a bit more useless than ever. Anyway, shut up, Jess. <laughs> I've really got to go, actually. Oh, I'm late! The clock's over there. That's why I always look over there. If you ever see me looking backwards, I'm not pointing towards the door. I'm going to point towards the kitchen. Oh, and we're looking for a new friggin' flat. We're viewing a flat tomorrow. I'm terrified. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Okay, see you later. Bye.